And back again with Vampire. We've just visited Lady Ashbury, who wants to call us Elizabeth. We have a very forced romance scene, which does not feel earned or meaningful. But we're going to go talk to um, a bunch of very ancient vampires and be nice to them for about 10 seconds before I bash their skulls in. So it should be through here. Oops. Quarantine. Door is on the other side. It's locked. Um, okay, I have a pass to get through. Where would I go? Up that way, I guess? Yeah, if that's locked, I'm probably going to run into like another cutscene or something this way. There was a hideout. I was just there. Hmm. Yeah, I can't be bothered dealing with any of you. Don't just stand there, Jonathan. Run. stepping back. I'm running away. Go away. Jonathan, run. Ugh, wrong way. Don't dash into them. Thank you, Jonathan. Where? Okay. For here? Don't get stuck on the lamppost. Where someone had a bad day. It's locked, all right. Where is the stupid entrance then? I heard a train. Cinematic. Huh. I think the original body was supposed to be there at the end, but they kind of That's screwed the that vampire up. I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. You've been in war, Jonathan. You should know. Um, this way. Also kind of serves him right for just diving into the middle of them. Okay, other way. I still want a mini map. I'm going to complain about that till the end of the West game. End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Ill-formed blinker, 29. No, I'm not going to fight that. See, he's gonna run away. This must be like the edge of his tether distance. Dodge, Jonathan. I need a lot more stamina. He just burns through it so fast. I'm gonna need a better one-handed weapon because I like the dagger and the the uh, blood drain on it, but uh, every single-handed weapon I've come up with has just not done anything. Let's see, get a sneak peek. Can I just open the door from this side? It's locked. Okay. It probably won't all open from the other end as well. Okay, I'm getting a 
Ascalon too. The but Ascalon no. Club. The heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Start tagging people. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too okay, young. Okay, how does she notice that? I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Is that supposed to be teasing My name is Charlotte, with... sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young echoes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Okay, since I've tagged her, I'm just going to go. I won't worry about it. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. I already have, so ha. Huh? So that's one person. Tag him. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. That beard looks I'm so Dr. fake. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Ooh, let's see what he has to I sell. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Let's see, um... Ergo 10, I think I need. Trigger part, good handle part. Okay, that's enough for an upgrade. That's for guns. That's for the knife. Go Tamon. Uh, don't think I need much of these, but that's really good. Solison. Let's see what it. Sell uh, necklace, ink pen, cycle that maybe. Ooh, ring. There we go. I got some of it back. I can now upgrade my uh, hatchet. Tag you. Let's bother everyone. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true. Or I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Ooh, he doesn't sound like he's having a good time. Yeah, it'd be nice to Venus. We've spent so much time away from each other. So many things have happened. Trouble at home, though. Right at home. Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. But you're alive. You returned. One piece, and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Jonathan is also not the man he used to be. Actually, you need medical assistance, Clarence. It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? Treatment for migraine. Ah. I will see you later. Don't have anything for migraine. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Go. Women die too in this war. Let's see. I pegged, I think, everyone around here. But yeah, yeah, now getting this part done. Migraine. Cell phone is on. A lot of people are kind of disconnected from each other. So they don't probably won't interact with each other much. Let's go bother these people. I promise I won't burn the place down yet.
You have to do the secret knock. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. He's got like the same veins on his Red face that Jonathan is waiting does. On you upstairs. Ah, I see they've uh, gotten into a fight. Perwin broke in. quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Oops, deal. They're rich, they don't need it. Ought to know the names. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. Clearly they're concerned about the death of their executioner. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? <laughs> close friend. She's a close friend. And I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the Guard of Prewen, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Mm -hmm. Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No, I haven't. Have hmm. no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What is the Ascalon Club's express? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? 
Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierced the hearts of all our nation's enemies. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. That's just that. Uh. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all scowls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Like we will be as well. What so. does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members, and I do appreciate obedience. Let's see. Yeah, we're don't really have an option here. To join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. It's also kind of pointless, but yeah. You just use the tip of your finger. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! I was expecting to be a little bit more horrible than this, but eh. Talk to Lord Redgrave. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right. Let's talk, you and I, Lance Bearer. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You are spying on me. Not personally, 
I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. You do know I killed him. Yes, this yes. has come up. Will you bear ill will towards me? This has also come up. Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bancher was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Volkod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Yes, yeah. I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skulls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Mesmerize levels up. And our buddy's back. Oh, that no, was just the Mesmerize level. Okay. And singing obscure songs around the city. What is this new malevolence? Hey, I know this person. Skulls have been spotted everywhere in London. Lord Hammersley. Who are you? Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. I don't like being such a like newcomer. And I do not like it at all. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw... Lady Ashbury had a beating heart, sir. too. Ah. Vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Famous Dawson of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. The bigger a barricade. Formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. It's just another barricade. So you would create two separate ghettos. 
What if the disease gets past the wall? The results would be disastrous. Not if we eliminate all suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. If you don't know the vector, it's not useful. Necessary. That Are he's you not going to be taking sacrifice for summary execution. Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns. Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. And I spotted at least two Awful person. <laughs> he is, for some bizarre reason, the pillar of the community. Mesmerized six. <laughs> I suspect a lot of these people are going to be really high, but eh. Uh, we've also kind of uh, gotten to the end of this session as well because of all the talking. But it was going to happen eventually that we just run into like a lot of dialogue just have to sit through. But we've got through it and now we're back to, uh, you know, normal questing and doing stuff in the game. So I hope everyone's enjoyed this little set. I'm going to take us back out. We've... Had people talk our ear off endlessly, fought a little bit, but we've advanced the quest, we've got more XP, I'm going to start thinking about who I'm going to have to brain in this particular section of the game. I already have a long list of people I would very much love to kill. Whether that means eating them or taking my hatchet and cracking their skull I open is another matter. I just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. That's what's his face down there, I think. Yep. So, I'm going to call the session right now. Actually, there's a hideout nearby. Up here. Can I get in from the other side? Can I get in through here? Yes. Reads it. Oh, this is where I. This is my house. Okay. We know who she is. We already spoke a door. Get this done. I'm getting close to 30 minutes, but this will be fine. I don't know why it takes so long to load when it's basically just another dialogue thing. Unless they're all kind of preloaded. But she should come with the area Nothing. anyway. Good evening. Jonathan! Is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes, but this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I see the mesmerizing is prior to bring. so much. It's been days since their last visit. Yeah, her brain's fried. Goodbye, mother. Try to rest. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Yep, her brain's fried from the mesmerize. That's her room. Should be... Mine, yep. This is my room. Hmm, that's probably the butler. And this girl having a bad time down there. Conveniently, this is broken. Yeah, I think sure braids just totaled. Let's upgrade our weapon. Let's see. Let's take us up to 170, which is higher than the current bonking stick. And blood points or stun. Mm hmm. I don't think the stun is going to be useful. Um, I can swap it later. So, five bullet points when it hits. I'll need six good handle parts. Oh. So long as the merchants keep restocking that, I can just buy another one. Let's see. I need one more for that, and I can get some 
and more blood points. I don't think the stamina is really too much of an issue with that. This, I will need more good handle parts to upgrade. That will bring quite nicely up. Hmm. Let's see. Migraine was one of the ones. Okay. Now we can cure our old friend. 6,000. I'm not going to rest just yet. I'm going to probably do a few more things first before resting. So, hope everyone's enjoyed this little set. There's been a lot of talking, but we know a little bit more about what's going on now. So, uh, until next time, uh, bye.